Oh, and did I mention I'm rocking my little 4th of July uh, converse today? We're gonna go inside and see what we can find. Sunday afternoon as I am filming this. It is the 4th of July. I wasn't sure if Goodwill was open, but they are open till 6 p.m. today. So that's what I'm doing. I am kidless. I am workloadless. <laughs> I mean, there's always things I could be doing, but I'm trying to take a day. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to get back to my $20 rule. I'm really going to discipline myself and put things back on the shelf, Ooh, my eyes are watering from the air conditioning, that are not worth $20 or more. Now, there's always gonna be the exception. I know, I got the comments last time, but Danny, it's okay. If I aim for that rule, the majority of what I get is gonna fall in that rule. And if something's just too irresistibly cute and falls under that rule, well then so be it. Um, Cause if it's a quick flip, that works too. All right. Let's get in there and see what they have on this beautiful day. Oh, and did I mention I'm rocking my little 4th of July uh, converse today? We're going to go inside and see what we can find. Okay, the Nicky Nacky shelves are pretty full today. Oh, I wish there was two of those. That's really pretty. Green tags are actually the half off color. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out. For green tags. And let's see if there's anything. This is a really pretty piece of recycled glass. Probably San, Man San Miguel or um, what's the other one? Ugh, eco glass. One of those. They want twenty dollars, so they're catching on. They're catching on. All depends who's pricing stuff in the back and what they know and don't know about stuff. I mean, I'm sure they watch YouTube channels too. I wish that did say Panama because I really like the fish. Ceramica Garcia. Yeah, I, the problem is with it would sell even with the Panama, but the Panama limits who's going to buy it, and so it's going to sit a little longer. I do like that bird, but I have plenty of birds right now, so I don't need it. I am going to continue to look for some things for my... Um, my mushrooms but I gotta watch what I pay for them so that's $3.99 that's a little more than I want to pay for mushroom toppers so gotta watch that they do have a lot of see this one's only a dollar see I can do a dollar for the mushroom toppers it's funny is, is that the same it's the same, but it's a different size. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Look at this guy. Ooh, come here, little artichoke. Oh, $15, though. Darn, 50, it was only... I mean, it was $32.90 new. But 15 Yeah, we can't do 15 Can't do 15 See, this one... This would make a great little mushroom bottom too. It is $1.99, a little more than I want to pay, but that's a really perfect little base. So I'm going to pick that one up. And then I find this guy. This is Raku pottery. Oh, he's only $4. So let's look and make sure he's not broken anywhere. I see he's got some, a little bit of cracking in the glaze which is pretty normal for these pieces, but uh, he's in pretty good shape and he's a good size. I'm gonna pick him up. All right, we're in the candles. Always looking for some glass baby candles. I still have not found one of those out in the wild yet. It is on my bucket list. We got dolls, got some holiday stuff. 
nothing too exciting. Always gotta scope out the little baggies on the end here. I have found some really good things put into baggies. They got all their Christmas stuff out now. All right, nothing on this end cap. All of our Goodwill stores have all their uh, Christmas in July stuff out. That is Woodstock on Doghouse display piece. First in a collection of five, a Snoopy Christmas from, when is that from? Doesn't say. It's $1.99. Uh, you know, Snoopy, it's a pretty good buy. I, I don't think I can go wrong at $2 on that, so I'm gonna get it. All right. Got some mugs over here. Sometimes they mix stuff in that's not Christmas, like some little vintage coasters made in Hong Kong. Hmm, it would be $2 for those. But again, it's not a $20 bill. Not a $20 bill. So I am gonna leave that behind. Gotta find my $20 bills. That's what I'm looking for. All right. And if I pass something by, you guys, you just tell me if I passed by a $20 bill. Because that's how we all learn. Right? All right. I don't see... I see some cool burlap ribbon. Ooh, I kind of like that burlap ribbon. There's a lot of it on there. And I know this is not cheap. All right. I'm going to get that burlap ribbon because I'm sure I can do something with that. Let me peek if there's anything else on these little Christmassy shelves. And then we are gonna move along. All right, we're in the wood shelves and there is not a whole lot here. That's made in Taiwan, vintage, but not a $20 bill. And there's just not a whole lot on these shelves. They're pretty empty. So we're gonna go a little bit quick and get on to more stuff. Yep. There's this really cool airplane under here. But again, they've got $15 on it and it's missing the propeller. Otherwise, 15 still wouldn't be that bad, but it is missing a part, so we've gotta leave it. We're gonna see what other things are in the metal section. We've got a vintage trivet, but again, it's not a $20 bill. And you know what? These are really good for holding things down at the booth. So I'm gonna pick those up. Those are for the booth, not for resale. So I will spend a little more on them. And there's a cute owl. There's really not a lot in these sections today. This is uh, made by Everlast Metals, and they want $13, and it's really, I don't know, I don't know who's back there doing their pricing and advising, because that's a little, that's a little crazy. And now we're in the clear glass. Well, that didn't last long. We're not in the clear glass anymore. <laughs> now we are. Wow, music's really loud. I may be doing voiceover on this one, at least three parts of it, because I can't even hear myself. So, these are kind of nice, but they're also, they're modern. I found this really cool fake aloe plant, but it's $8, so can't do that. And then there's a little, these are not glass, they're, they're rubber. That's really weird. I've never seen a rubber, I mean, it's, it's supposed to look like one of the little jade trees. It's $8. I thought it was a jade tree, but then it's, I felt it, and it's rubber. So, can't do that. All right, let's peek through the mugs here. Nothing's calling me. It may be a no mug day. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, except for this one I just pulled off the top shelf. It's a green tag, so it's half price. So it's a dollar fifty, and it is a Pier One Imports. So we're gonna pick that one up. 
Okay, I spotted these. They're like a tortoise shell. I, actually, there's five of them. Oh, look at They're not even the same. So, that just made my decision for me. I guess some of them are the same. Are any of them, like... No, nope, look, that one's a little... Oh, those are... Okay, that means there's no uniformity in when they made them. So not very good quality. Don't know who made you. Cute. Alright. Oh, there's some more of these. Blue rim. Oh, these are interesting because they got clear on top of the blue. But they want $6 a piece for them. So... That makes them a no, but I do see some of my black stem glassware. I'm going to check the prices on that. These are really nice cobalt blue. They're kind of a heavy glass, but they're $6 each, so we have to leave those behind at that price. And yeah, that's not very. Oh, I find one more black stem. I got, I got several of these. I'll show you in the cart what I got. So here's all the black stem where I got. Now they're all green tags, so they're 50 cents to a dollar each. And what I do is I put it together until I have four of the same one because I find it all the time and then I sell them. And I rounded the corner and I spotted me some temptations. Now they are asking six dollars. Even though somebody tried to pull the label they write it on the bottom so that's how I know it's six dollars I think this piece is worth six dollars so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up all right let's see what else is up here that pattern looks familiar but I also remember it not being worth a whole lot either and then let's see that is ceramic it is not wicker like it looks that was a little deceiving. Alright. Oh, it's a nice uh, iridescent glass. That's a recycled glass. Cakes. Ah, $15. Well, it was a recycled, a nice recycled glass cake stand. Can you see the swirls in it? Yeah, I would have picked that up if it wasn't $15. I probably would have even picked it up for $10, but not $15. Can't do that. This is the company that is mimicking uh, Ray Dunn. Doesn't even say who it is. They're just, they're just mimicking it. Which I don't know how they quite get away with that, but they are. I see it everywhere. It's kind of annoying, actually. And there's some more little bowls here that would make good little mushroom. Look at those would make great little mushroom tops, wouldn't they? And it's $1.99 for two, which makes it a dollar a piece. That's a price I can live with. I have found some interesting placemats in this store before. They put them down here in a little pile on the bottom. So I'm going to look through and see if there's anything notable today. It's very smart putting the placemats over here for people who are looking in like the kitchen section versus you know people who may never get over to the textiles so but nothing today all right now we're gonna look through the plates see if there's anything notable that's pretty pretty colors Pauline Gibson, I want to say. It is a Limoges, but it is also chipped, cracked, and they're asking $10. That looks like the plate hanger might have been moved. That's what happens with these plate hangers. It's pretty sad. That was a really nice plate at one point. It still would be if it didn't have the crack. All right. Oh, I don't see anything else. I don't know how I almost missed this. It is a bird cookie jar. It's a certified international, which is not a super great brand, Susan Winget, but it's half price, so it's six fifty. And I don't see any chips. 
on the lid or the cookie jar. So I think we're going to go ahead and pick that up. Okay, I didn't know there was such a thing as a Twinkie maker, but there's such a thing as a Twinkie maker. They want 25 for it though, so we will pass the Twinkie maker, but I found that very interesting. Interested to know what it's actually worth now. Alright, nothing over on this side. Okay, just taking a quick gander at the small artwork because they just made an announcement that they close at four o'clock which means I only have 15 more minutes to get my shopping done so we're gonna power shop the rest of it you know what that is really pleasant and it's signed on the back from pastel Jerry you know what these are $8 each, but I can tell these are really well done. Sorry, that's a little glary. And she did sign them on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the birds. Okay, I've also spotted this little needlepoint, which is really a neat subject matter. I wish it didn't have little rips in the in the cloth. I don't know how much that will affect the value. How much is it? Oh, it's seven bucks. You know what? I, I think I'm going to leave it, but I did really like it, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. All right. Doing a really quick run through of the pillows and the blankets right here. honk and rooster okay I'm doing my second little like run through before I'm heading up to the register and I spotted this I don't know how I missed this the first time these are pretty darn cute made by crazy mountain imports looks like it's from Canada and it's only a dollar 99 so we have to pick those up closed at four today uh, which I didn't know so I kind of had to power shop there at the end that's why the video is a little bit short but we still found some good things I spent uh, when all was said and done when all the discounts came off it was about 50 bucks I did get a bunch of stuff to make my little mushroom art I cannot wait to start getting those done I think I have enough stuff to get started I have to go get some glass glue I have to figure out what the best glue to use on those is going to be um, walking by my car making me nervous uh, <laughs> yeah so if anybody knows what the best glue to use glass to glass let me know because they need to hold really tight and I mean I know it's out there because you see all the DIY projects uh, with all the pieces glued together so I'm sure if there's a special glue you guys know and so I'm gonna like try to figure out what to do with myself for the rest of the day 
This is really weird because it's my first 4th of July without my kids. Um, and it just feels really weird. Usually I'd be planning, you know, we would either be getting together with friends or having friends over and shooting fireworks or doing something. So I'm not quite sure. I might just put my feet up and relax for the rest of the day. That would be a novel idea. I'm not even sure if I'm capable of doing that. I, it, I know it's a sad truth. I'd like, I love to stay busy. I love to just keep working on stuff, but it is what it is. Okay. I'm going to head home. Apparently God knows that I need to not be out on the roads right now. So away I go and you go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.